All right, so here's the third video on finding absolute extrema, absolute max and min. So to find the absolute extrema, first thing we do, we find the critical numbers, and then we evaluate the critical numbers in F. Okay, so we take our critical numbers, put them back into the original function, and we evaluate it, see what answers we get. And then we also do that with the endpoints, okay, and see what values we get. And the least of these values is the minimum, the greatest is the maximum. So let's take a look at our third example. So here we want to find the absolute extrema over the interval zero. I'm sorry, that's not correct. All right, so sorry about that. I fixed the interval. It should be uh, this. The this is the function. The interval should be negative one to three, not zero to two pi, like I had it. <clears throat> All right, that was a typo. All right, so let's find the critical numbers. So we'll take the first derivative, which this would be two minus, and then we bring the two thirds down. So three times two thirds is two. X subtract one negative one-third and so f prime of x would be 2 minus 2 over x to the one-third. <coughs> now we need to set this equal to zero and solve. So I've got 2 minus 2 over x to the one-third equals zero. I'll move this term over 2 equals 2 over x to the one-third. Move this up, that's 2x to the one-third equals 2. So x to the one-third equals 1. And then if I cube both sides, I get x equal 1. So there's a critical number, x equal 1. <coughs> okay. Let me erase all the work here on solving it so we can move the one back up. Okay. Alright, so when we set that equal to zero and solved, we got x equal one is a critical number. And also, remember critical numbers, that's where the first derivative is undefined. And we can see that the first derivative is undefined at x equals zero. Now keep in mind that whenever the first derivative is undefined, in this case at x equals zero, we have the the original function has to be defined at zero. And it is. We can plug zero in for x. Okay, zero is in the in the domain of this function. So that makes x equals zero a critical number. If let's say the function would have been undefined at zero as well, then it would not have been a critical number. Remember that from back when you were learning how to find critical numbers. And I have some videos on that if you need to watch those. <clears throat> All right, so now we need to evaluate the function, the original function, at x equal one, x equal zero, x equal negative one, and x equal three. All right, so let's evaluate it at the critical numbers. So f of zero, that's 2 times 0 minus 3 times 0 to the 2 thirds. That's going to give us 0. And then f of 1, that's 2 times 1 minus 3 times 1 to the 2 thirds. Well, 1 raised to anything is 1, so that's going to give us negative 1. And then f of negative 1 is going to be 2 times negative 1 minus 3 times negative 1 to the 2 thirds. So that'll be negative 2. This will be uh, negative 3 because when we cube root negative 1, that's negative 1. Square it and you get positive 1. So this is going to be negative 5. And then we've got f of 3. See, I'm doing the endpoints now. So that's 2 times 3 minus 
3 times 3 to the 2 thirds. And this one we'd probably just have to punch into our calculator. And we would get negative 0.24 when we plug it into our calculator. <clears throat> Alright, so remember the largest value is the max, the absolute max. The smallest value is the absolute minimum. And so you can see here, this would be our largest value, zero. So that's our absolute max. And this would be our absolute minimum at x equal negative one. That's our smallest value. So we have an absolute maximum at when x is zero. And when x is zero, y would be what? Well, you have to plug it back into the original. Well, we've already calculated that here. So that would be zero, zero. And then we have an absolute minimum at x equal negative one. And then you can see we've already plugged negative one into here. Our y value would be negative five. So there's our absolute maximum and minimum. All right, so I hope this video helped. Uh, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, thanks.